last tutorial you learned about how to adjust the shapes of polygons and lines and move points and vertices. One of the things that you may have noticed in the previous tutorials is that when you are creating adjacent polygons it's hard to create uh, a boundary that matches perfectly. Now when we are building topologies which is an advanced topic uh, these things can be taken care of but um, since you are using ArcGIS desktop I will show you how to use snapping to uh, prevent uh, these kind of slivers that uh, happen or these little islands that are um, overlapping between the adjacent polygons so I have uh, started the editor and zoomed into the uh, the line where I would like the two uh, polygons to have matching boundaries. In order to use the snapping, uh, go to editor and pull down the editor menu and find out uh, a sub menu called snapping. In the snapping you will see a snapping toolbar that you should open. Uh, and this will bring up uh, a snapping toolbar that has uh, several options available so notice how the snapping is by default already on and you have been using it but turns out uh, you have to be a little bit careful when you're using so I'm gonna uh, snap it to the toolbar so I can uh, see it select the edit tool and select select the polygon that you would like uh, to uh, snap on to. So for example this is the polygon double click and you will see the vertices. Now notice how I can drag this vertex to snap to the other polygon and I can start moving these vertices so that the polygon uh, have identical uh, boundaries. and this way we can uh, snap the two boundaries to show identical uh, uh, boundary of the adjacent polygons. Uh, these, if you look at the snapping uh, options, you can snap to a point, snap to the end point of a, of a line, snap to a vertex of a line or a polygon, and you can also snap to the edge of uh, a given line or a polygon. So there are several options that are available here. You can also select an option called Snap to Sketch, which uh, can be used um, if you want to snap to the whole sketch. Um, and sometimes you can turn this option off also in case you do not want to uh, use the snapping function. You can. Uh, turn off it from this option. In a similar manner if you are adding a new feature uh, for example in this case um, let's zoom out and suppose we are adding another feature for this uh, yellow portion um, in such a case you can also turn on the snapping function and you can snap to the boundary for example we'll just do this little portion here and see how the snapping function can help so we start creating a feature and notice how that little square appears on the blue line it's allowing me or suggesting me where to snap and I can just follow it and make sure that I snap to the next vertex that is available on the boundary and as I have asked the uh, the snapping from the snapping editor I have selected to snap to sketch also you will see that it will continue to do the best to make sure that my snapping happens in the best possible way and you can continue to do that. So I'm going to close it here and show you um, how snapping has occurred. So see how the boundary has very well
matched with the polygon boundary of the neighbor. Okay, that concludes uh, the brief uh, tutorial on how to use snapping to, uh, to match the boundaries between polygons.